Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This travel is a SP Dotnet project, part 27. In the last video, that is part 25 and 26, we have discussed about how to create the dynamic controls and how to work with the dynamic controls in ASP Dotnet. This is the continuation of part 24. Is it clear? So, before watching this video, you try to watch Travelbiz ASP.NET project part 24. Right here, we are trying to discuss about our project. In the previous screen, in our project, customer will try to log in with his, uh, customer will try to select the bus details and that bus details will be displayed here. That is service number, from place, to place, travel agency name, departure time, arrival time and here seat numbers as well as fare. Now here, customer will try to select the seat numbers. So whenever these are not, this is the bus architecture, I discussed this architecture in part number 24. So customer will select the seat number and he can book the uh, ticket. So here what I want to do here is, whenever the customer will try to select the seat numbers, for example, this is seat number 1, 2, 3. If the customer is selecting these three seat numbers and then he, when he click on this button 1, something like click me after selecting the seat, when you click on button, then it has to display the dynamic text boxes. So here for example, if the customer will try to select the seat number 1, seat number 2, seat number 3, if you try to observe clearly, here whenever you try to select the seat numbers, it has to display the seat numbers automatically within this label. So we will we'll, uh, develop this screen, but initially I am trying to explain you the scenario. Is it clear? Once when they try to customer select the seat number, automatically it has to change the image. And then once when the customer will try to click on, click me after select the seat, then it has to generate the dynamic text boxes, here you see. It has to generate nearly three rows. And in each row, five text boxes, it has to generate dynamically. And the main purpose of these text boxes is used to enter the customer details. For example, if the customer details are 101, and here I will enter something like uh, Jaydeep I will give and gender I will give male, phone number I will give double eight double eight and his age I will give something like 10 or 102, here I will give some Sagar and here I will give the gender male and here double seven double seven and here age 20 and 103 and uh, some other name some John I will give and uh, male I will give and double eight double eight some number some phone number I will give and here uh, age is 25. The, these three passengers has booked the ticket from Hyderabad to Vizag for this bus SVR. The bus service number is SV underscore 1. Departure time 6 p.m. Arrival time 5 a.m. Seat numbers are 1, 2, 3. Fare is 1200. And once when you click on book ticket, these details must be stored in the database. The individual customer details along with their seat numbers, service number, these all information must be stored in the database. That is our basic requirement here. So now we need to develop this uh, screen and we need to develop this task. That is the main reason why I have created a travel biz project part number 25 and 26. In part number 26, I clearly mentioned the example that how to create the controls dynamically. We will try to apply the same uh, concept here. So before continuing this video, you can watch part number 26 so that you will get some more clarity on this. Okay. So initial our requirement is whenever user clicks on what the image button, it has to change the image. We will see that. So here actually you get all these details from the previous screen. I already mentioned these details. This uh, uh, I discussed in uh, part number 24. I just displayed the values here. You don't do like that. So here what I want to do means initially I will select each of the image button. These all are image button controls. I have taken five rows, one table. Each row have placed nearly uh, 10 image buttons and I left these all spaces. So select the image button, right click, go to properties. Here you can see the ID for the image button I have given as something like you can say I underscore 1. And the ID for the second image button is I underscore 2, I underscore 3. Something like that I have given IDs for all the image buttons. Is it clear? So what is my requirement here is, so you double click on image button 1. Then here you see I underscore one underscore click. These all are the uh, methods. So in this method I will try to write some code. So what is the code I want to write here is, first of all I want to catch the ID of the I underscore one. So here is something like I underscore one dot what. 
id is it clear i want to store this id in the variable so i will take one variable string variable string s is equals to i underscore one dot id means image button one id that is nothing but i underscore one so that value is stored in string variable so actually i want to catch this one because i want to display that one that one is nothing but my seat number is it clear so i want to catch that one so what i want to do here is i will try to use a split method yes dot there is one predefined method called split method we use several times this method in our project split of where i want to split underscore so the image button id and my uh, seat numbers both are similar in this case so here i'll give underscore so the return type of this method the return type of the split method is string array so i'll try to store the result of the method in string array string and here i'll write something like s1 is equals to s dot split of underscore so here what will happen means what this split method will do this split method will divide that value i underscore one into two parts this is nothing but what i and this is what one so actually it is an array so always index of the array starts from zero this is zero this is one so the name of the array is what s1 so here what i want to do s1 of one means who will come the seat number will come that is one i want to display that seat number in where here this is what my label the id of the label is label 2 so here i will try to write something like label 2 dot label 2 dot text is equals to s1 of 1 s1 of 1 plus i want to give some comma here first of all i am concentrating on the seat numbers and uh, in, and at the same time i want to change the image i want to change the image of this seat so i will go to the solution explorer there you can see images folder here i have some images something like this and here you see the image as e1.png i want to change the image this one so what i will write i will write the code for that to change the image something like the name of the image button is i underscore one dot there is one property called image url image url is equals to where is my image my image is available under images folder so tilde slash the folder name is images slash what is the image name e1 dot png the whenever user clicks on what uh, that uh, seat number it has to display the seat number in the label to and at the same time it has to change the image here you should debug and check the output once and then here you can see now uh, your admin will uh, customer will select the seat number then automatically the seat number is changing and at the same time the seat number is displaying in the label to right similarly you have to write the same code for i underscore two three four for all the image buttons you have to write the same code so copy this code and paste it here and here just you change the id as i underscore two dot id remaining code is same here also i underscore two but actually if you write label two dot text is equal s1 of one means here what will come the previous uh, value is not maintained so here what i will do i will concatenate label two dot text plus is equals to is equals to so it will display both the seat numbers hope you understood and similarly in i underscore three you write the same code here you write i underscore three dot id is it clear here, here also you mention label to that text plus is equals to here i underscore what four so so here when customer selects the seat number one it will display the seat number one similarly two similarly three similarly four it will display all the seat numbers here within my label two that is our first requirement and immediately it has to change the images here and whenever user clicks on this button one my second requirement is I want to count the number of seats that are selected because ba based on that number of seats I want to display those many rows dynamically because if the customer is selecting four seats it has to display uh, four uh, rows of text boxes as we discussed earlier that is here you see if the customer is selecting these uh, three seats and click on this button it has to display three rows of text boxes first row second row and third row that is my requirement so in order to do that one what we have to do here is first of all when user uh, clicks on the seat number we need to increment the i value we need to increment the value because this is seat number one two three and what four for that what we have to do let us see here. so initially what i want to do means here you double click on the button one that is i underscore one underscore click 
So here what I will do means here I will try to declare one variable int k initially k is what to 0 and we already know that by default in ASP in each at every time when the request is going to the server by default page load will fail. So here I will write something like if is postback is equals to false and uh, here uh, as ASP in is a stateless technology it will not maintain the state of the response. For example I will try to increment the k value here something like what k plus plus and here I will try to increment the k value something like k plus plus and here I will try to increment the k value k plus plus but actually the problem is what here if you observe clearly here you see I will keep the breakpoints so that you can understand and uh, here you can see I will try to keep the breakpoints in all the places and just debug and check the output now here you see whenever the customer will select the seat number one then I underscore one underscore click will fire ok and here initial k is how much zero now k is 1 very good now here you see now when I click on seat number 2 here if you observe clearly let us see what will happen i underscore 2 underscore click will fire again k is how much 1 and that the previous state is not maintaining because of asp.net stateless technology so we have to maintain the state for that what I will try to do here is within the page load uh, to post back I will write something like I will store the k value in a variable view state of variable name is equals to what k I store the value in the view state and here I will try to retrieve the value from the view state how to retrieve the value view state view state of what is the variable name k and here I will try to store the variable in k and uh, the value that is stored in uh, view state is of object type so I want to type cast so here I will try to type cast by using what convert dot here I will try to use convert class convert dot 2 into 32 why I am using convert class means because convert dot 2 into 32 can handle what null values are you following in the same code I will try to write here also and the same code I will try to write here so that I can maintain the state the control states I can what maintain here I will try to write k plus plus is it clear here if you observe just I will try to debug and check the output so that you will understand I hope you understood the requirement my requirement is whenever user selects what and the number of seats that he is selecting now the customer is trying to select what see seat number one so here initially k is zero now here k, k is one is it clear now here you see now whenever the customer will select what second seat and here the value is stored in view state and here you see and here what is the previous value k again the problem is that again we need to maintain the value if you observe clearly what is happening here whenever customer selects the seat number one this event will fire and uh, initial value that is available is zero that zero is stored in k and again increment the k value now k is how much one now whenever customer select the second uh, seat the previous response is not maintained because of stateless nature so what to do here again you here you have to store the view state value view state of k is equals to k and uh, here whenever the customer is selecting the seat number one that seat number one details are again stored in where view state like this this is the main problem in ASP.NET because ASP.NET works with HTTP protocol by default HTTP protocol is what stateless it will not maintain the state of the response between multiple postbacks or between multiple client requests and what responses so in each and every method you need to maintain the k value in the view state now you debug and check the output so that you will understand here you see whenever I will select the seat number one then I1 underscore I underscore one underscore click will what fire here you see F11 so initially k is how much zero now k is how much one now again we need to store this k value why because if you are not maintaining that k value when user clicks on second seat the previous value will not be maintained so yet the k is stored now whenever user clicks on second seat again the values as the value is already stored in where view state here you state what is the value one so now the seat number is what two the number of seats you selected now again when customer will select the third seat here you see and here this three and here when customer select the fourth seat here you see the k is what three now it is four so that we can generate what the text boxes dynamically based on the number of seats i hope you understood in the next video we will discuss about how to generate the text boxes dynamically for more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.